Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're all having a great week so far. I'm Dania, and we are on day eight of my Go Live Challenge. And if you are watching, um, say hi. Let us know where you're from. We'd love to hear from you. We are going to be interviewing another business owner today. We'll keep it short and sweet, but I would like to introduce to you Marizel, and she is from the UK, and here she is. Hi, Marizel. How are you? Hi. Hi, everyone. Good morning. It's um, what time are we here? It's 4 p.m. here in the UK. And what time is it over there? It is 9 a.m. here in uh, Alberta, in Canada. Okay. Yeah. Good morning to all of um, Dania's viewers. Yes. Awesome. So for today, um, can you just introduce yourself, Marizel? Yes. Um, yeah, my name is Marizel. I'm married. I have two kids. Um, I work as a nurse here in the UK, and I also own a business which I manage digitally. And I do run that business alongside uh, my professional job of being a nurse. Yeah, short and sweet. There's not much to say about myself. <laughs> That's perfect. And how long have you been doing the business for? I have been running the business since um, late 2019. I think I joined in oh. October, November, just over a year. Awesome. And Yes, and I plan to do this for more and more years to come. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to just start up and then do mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, no, that's a great. It's a great business for sure. Um, and then, what are what was your pains and struggles before starting the business? It has always been that time not having enough time to spend with the kids. Uh, because I work as a nurse, my husband work as a nurse as well. Since we had kids, we tend to work opposite shifts in order to cater for childcare because we don't have any families around here. It's just be between him and me, we sort out childcare. So I tend to work towards the end of the week and he works um, weekdays. So we very, very rarely get to have proper family time. And it has always been like that since you know, we had kids and I've noticed kids are growing, you know, as a nurse, I've been looking after many different people. And, you know, I've noticed that, hang on a minute, my kids are growing fast, right? Um, you know, I'm spending more time at work than being with them. So it's that time struggle. I don't have that much flexibility before beforehand, which is very common, uh, a very common problem of, you know, um, parents with small kids if they're both working full time. Um, yeah, so time and flexibility has always been a struggle for me before I started this business. And that's why yeah, I wanted to venture into something that would potentially create something um, for me to, you know, to be able to achieve my goal of, you know, being with my family and spending more time with the kids. Yeah, that's the best is be able to spend more time for sure. Having mm. that time of freedom is great. Um, and why did you decide to start uh, your online business? Um, I was looking for something that could pave the way to me achieving my main goal of being able to stay at home more, um, to be able to spend time with my parents who are growing older. My parents are based in the Philippines. They're still there. My husband's parents, they're based in the US. So we're scattered globally and we're here in the UK. So, um, I wanted something that can offer flexibility in terms of, you know, I could just go away whenever we want. We can just, you know, visit family and friends whenever we want. If I am employed by someone else, you know, you're contracted to that hours and it's really difficult to find time to get annual leave, especially here in the UK. In school, kids would tend to have like a week or two weeks break every quarter. So all of those annual leave at work, we tend to, you know, allocate for those. So there would be, you know, uh, a parent to look after them. But having that flexibility in relation to going away for a long time, especially if it's a long haul flight, you wouldn't want to just spend a week in America or a week in the Philippines. It's just not enough. You have to have more time. Uh, flexibility with your uh, annual leave at work. And, you know, something I said, I need to to find something that would m give me that without compromising my income. Right. So something that could um, if at the same time top up my earnings and give me more flexibility and be, for me to be able to manage my own time. 
that's why I started venturing into something online because I could do it at home. I can do it whenever, wherever I want, however much I want. Amazing. <laughs> um, what would you say is your favorite part of our biz of this business? <laughs> My favorite part. Apart from the the you know the resources that it gives you, <laughs> yeah. we, we can't deny that is um, knowing a lot of people globally, right? Gaining lots of friends, um, having a lot of online friends. Well, I consider them friends now, my business partners. Um, I actually speak to them more compared to my offline friends because my offline friends would be very busy with their lives as well. We only tend to speak maybe every so often, but my my friends here in the business, your business partners, my business partners and all, I tend to speak to them every day. So <laughs> even if we've not met each other in person, I felt, I've always felt that we're connected somehow because I think it's it's how it goes when you have the same mindset and you know you're working on the same goal you have same the same wavelength and you understand each other more and you enjoy talking to them um yeah so gaining that many online friends i like the most and um personal development wise um kind of enhances me my my being more comfortable facing in front of the camera and talking to you i'm talking to you right now like this you won't be able to to get me to talk in front of um, you know the world wide web <laughs> from before it just came in with with you know with the business because you tend to talk to a lot of people from many different parts of the world and you get comfortable with it so yeah apart from the financial bit of it the personal you know development that kind of gives uh, gave me i think it's it's wonderful yeah, it's amazing. The community is a great, it's amazing how many people you can meet worldwide on this and they're all like, mm. I don't know, you have so much in common. Like you, you live, you live at the other part of the globe. Yeah. Um, our time zones are different, right? If you needed support, if you need, if you have questions, you know, it doesn't matter if your immediate team is not around. You can always ask someone from you know our community and I bet you someone will you know will be able to answer a question and so much willing to help you to to give you a hand definitely yeah it's amazing I definitely uh that's one of my favorite things too is the community and how you can just get support from so many different people yeah but thank you so much for uh coming on here and taking your time to let me to interview you it was no problem. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and I hope you have a great day. And, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, we'll uh, probably chat again soon. I'm hoping. Okay. Yeah. Well, get in touch. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that interview with Marazel. And um, this was this is the last day of my little mini series of interviews for my Go Live challenge, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. We will be back tomorrow to talk more, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>